This is Pitch Please, the show where people who play games pitch ideas to people who make them. This week, maybe super, super mega chill power defense. Say cards again. Cards. <laughs> He's spreading his seed. My seed. My seed. My seed. <laughs> Welcome to Pitch Please. My name's Alex. I'm joined by developer Chris from Foggybox. Hello. Developer James from Catastrophic Overload. Hello. That's something overloading. Thomas, the ideas engine. Chuka, 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 chuka. Oh, honk, honk, honk. <laughs> oh, I love it when my energy gone. noise. Arriving at the station, <laughs> Idea Central, it's you. I'm a flock of geese. I'm, I'm the train, and you're, you're on, you're in me. Yeah. You better start believing in great <laughs> ideas. You're listening you're to one. one. <laughs> Jumping the barrier of game ideas. <laughs> have you seen that horror game that's beat in development, Choo Choo Charles, where you have to uh, run away from yeah, I love that. a spider train? Thomas I the have, Tank Engine. I have that, but with Tom's face on the front in my head. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Thomas, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But every now and then he's screaming deck building ideas at you. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is, is Thomas the Tank Engine now out of like, licensing or whatever it is? Because they're doing that with Winnie the Pooh as well, right? Yeah, no, Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh is, is out of license. Free game. I think putting a face on a train isn't licensed by Thomas Tank Engine. <laughs> oh, no. I think if we did that, we'd get sued hard. We could try it out by well, if having we did it. it with, if we did it with your face, because you're called Tom, so it wouldn't really... It would... Yeah, but I haven't like copyrighted my own name. No, but if you called it Tom Has the Tank Engine... Has anyone ever done Engine, that? Has anyone might. ever copyrighted their I'm name? I'm sure they've tried. <laughs> Someone's. Um, <laughs> you oh. can't be called Frank. <laughs> no, it was, because... it, was, uh, it was Bethesda tried to copyright the word scrolls. Oh, yeah. I, I think remember they that. They tried to yeah. copyright Todd. They tried to copyright <laughs> Bethany Esther. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, look, if you've not listened to us before, <laughs> the way this works is uh, a gay, an idea for a game, a pitch, if you will, oh. uh, will be discussed. Please. And uh, then we're going to spend the rest of the episode talking about it, throwing our mm. own ideas in there, probably making it worse, trying to figure out how, uh, how it can become a game. Or inevitably not become a game and never get made because um, Tom and I have no skill and Chris and James are too busy with their own things. And they have no passion. (laughs) Or inevitably (laughs) whack some cards in it. Together, we are useless. (laughs) (laughs) We are garbage. (laughs) We're like a shit transformer. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Hang on, we've we've had that Voltron joke before, I'm sure, except it was Chris uh and he he wasn't able to get the legs together or something like that. (laughs) You know me, Tom. (laughs) Legless Voltron, that's what we call him. (laughs) All right, uh, Tom, what what ideas have we got this week? What's, What's going on? Is it... Is it you or is it is it me? Is it someone else? <laughs> is it me, Alex? <laughs> this is Pitch Please in 2020, almost three, baby. <laughs> oh, Tom, it's never us ever yeah? again. Tom, sorry, can can you not hear that? I think your phone is ringing. No, hang on, I have it on silent. Don't know how you can hear it. Oh, it's that old. <laughs> I mean, do you remember no. <laughs> old speakers used to go? Oh, you definitely hear that. Yeah. Okay. Well, who's on the phone, Tom? You're right. Let me do a segue we did not discuss or plan. No, can you tell? Because I really no-butted you in that that, uh, (laughs) bit there. Uh, Hello, hello, oh, hello, Jeffro. Tom, this is an audio podcast. You don't need to put your phone (laughs) into your actual ear. It's how we get his method acting. He's got to have the phone. Hello, uh, Jeffro from Finland. Uh, What a weird way to start the call. Uh, you have a you have a pitch for us. Please let me just put you on speakerphone so everyone can hear you. Are you ready? Yes, please. Go. Hello, Pitch Please podcast. My name is Yetro, but you can call me Chetro, unless you want to try and butcher the Finnish pronunciation. I am here to give you two pitches of two different game ideas. First game is more of a VR experience, but the second one is a shooter game with a twist. Now let me guide you deep into my head amidst the brain wrinkles and introduce you to the VR experience I call Growing Up. Oh, What's that noise? Imagine yourself in a pitch black space. Oh, ambiance. <gasps> oh shit. Jetro, how'd you do this? Slowly, your eyes get used to the dark and you start to notice you are inside an air pocket surrounded by dirt. After a few seconds, the ceiling starts to crumble. Oh my god. I can't believe he's doing this live on the phone. Of light <laughs> fill up the space. And suddenly, everything shrinks around you and you burst through the ceiling, crying oh. to the size of 
a human baby. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you can see that you are a sapling with a tree trunk body, branches for arms, and leaves for hands. Okay. Looking around you, you see that you're in a forest, surrounded by bigger trees and vegetation. From the cracks of the foliage, the sun casts rays close to you within your reach. When you touch the light, you can see your leaves glowing, and you start to grow slowly. As time goes on, you continue growing while facing different hardships from bugs and mammals trying to eat you to needing to gather snow around your body to survive winter's cold, harsh weather. Your goal is to survive through the seasons and spread your seeds to reproduce when you have reached that stage. The game doesn't necessarily <laughs> need a failure state as I think it's better as an experience. <laughs> and for the ending, you could have a lumberjack come and chop you down and start a new cycle from the ground up. This was my idea for the game growing up. And next, I want to share you my idea for the shooter game. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Je Jethro, whoa, 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 hang on. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Yourself, man. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Je Jethro, Je Jethro. Put him on uh, hold. Hang on, sorry. Boop. Um, okay. Cue up the next set of sound effects. <laughs> <Hang on. laughs> that was Let's, amazing. Like, I mean, that come on, that's the podcast. The best call in we've ever had of the <laughs> two. two? <laughs> set okay. the bar. <laughs> Jeez. I, I mean, uh, yeah, just, I, I'm not sure if I actually listened to the pitch, to be honest, because I was just, I was in that world for a while there. It was, it was immersive. It was brilliant. It was beautiful. Oh. How, uh, wow. yeah. You can't think about this, the game though? when you are the character. They don't think For about it from that there, perspective. I was, I was a baby sapling. Baby sapling man. spreading its seed. <laughs> spreading my seed across <laughs> the land. <laughs> um, so that, to me, sounds like the, this, this, uh, it's actually a great pitch because it doesn't describe anything well, about the gameplay. Nice. It just tells you, it just, it just sets up the world for you. So it, it just, it, you fill in the blanks. You just fill in the blanks with your head. But we, but it's our job now to actually fill, to actually vocalize those blanks. Yeah. What I are mean, they? Is there much what more is the that game? you could add? He said it was an experience. Well, he right? says he says survive. Like, what is that? You, so, oh, yeah, so yeah, presumably, true. you start off as a sapling. You turn into a full, a, like a full ass tree uh, after <laughs> over like a hundred <laughs> years. They're my favorite, especially when they're fruit bloom. Um, uh, and and in that time, you have to. So, so that was that was the gameplay directive: survive, mm. right? What is survive. a survival game if you can't move? Do you have to like swat away lumberjacks with your giant branches, or are you that you are, are you that mobile? You are the Whomping Willow. I guess you'd have to be, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> how you're meant to interact with anything as a tree unless everything is like mega fast forwarded. No, uh, I think you can you could easily the Bend the branches. There is a game called Tentacular. Oh, uh, okay. That by is Devolver not what Digital. I thought. Yeah. Uh, okay. Developed by Firepunt. What is it? Uh, it came out in July of this year, where you play as a kraken and you have huge tentacle arms and you latch onto things. And as you move around, obviously they have physics, so you, everything's bending and obviously stuff is heavy. It has inertia and physics happen. Oh. So you're saying that, and, but, actually, but you're a tree. Well, I would say imagine think movement like that, but your is branches, right? So. Maybe you can grab your one of your other branches, and then you know you pull it back, ping it, and it flicks things out of the way through the force of you pinging it back. But maybe there's little targets you can hit in the distance to stop people from. Or maybe like there's acorns that grow on your branch, and as you pull it back and ping it, it fires them off, and it's like a little target practice game where you're that's trying how you to spread your ah. seed. Well, also that, but also that's how you defend yourself from like. Little the shake critters mechanic. and stuff, and yeah, you can shake, <laughs> shake yourself all to your leaves. Get rid of oh, yeah, get all my oh. squirrels, sunlight, steal your nuts. That you spread the seed with the shake mechanic. Yeah, okay, <laughs> loud and clear. Yeah, <laughs> I um, when you were describing that, I was imagining a tree actually mo fully mobile, like dragging itself across like the like British ent. countryside. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, not not like an ent because the ent's walk just literally just with back. its with, yeah, it's like an uprooted tree just dragging <laughs> itself along. 
I, I thought you were going to bring up um, the game uh, Prune, which is which was the Apple iPad Game of the Year 2015. Um, what is that? Oh, that was my favourite year for Apple iPad games. It's it's, it's a very it. simplistic game where where it, you, you literally just see the tree growing in a particular direction towards the light, uh, and as you cut off certain branches, it then grows continuously on the, in an other direction. So you kind of have to cut and tr- prune the prune. tree towards the target, and it's it's a very chill game. Um, it's one of those ones, you know, with like really serene music and God, you feel so calm playing it. And then you realize that you're in the dark. Uh, in your underwear. In your underwear, sweating. <laughs> crying. Like the phone runs out of battery and you can Bruning see your reflection. <laughs> I guess we can. And you are just miserable. <laughs> you just hear Sorry, that? My, I think, actually I just think heard a phone. Someone's actually I, getting a call through. <laughs> I genuinely haven't heard that noise in years. I thought you were playing a sound effect. I didn't think so, it happened so. anymore. No, I, I, <laughs> apart from earlier well, when it happened, mm. and oh, we got the call. I heard from the call, Jetro. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, and obviously. This this does remind me a little bit of I can't remember what it was called. Do you remember the game that we talked about like two years ago now, or maybe mm. last year? Oh, oh, years ago. oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, that yeah, one. yeah, yeah. I mean, what was the, the game mushrooms last week, in like let alone two oh, years ago? <laughs> Like the, it was oh, like the it, little, it was the mushroom one in the, the uh, mycelials. Yeah, yeah, my yeah mycelials. Yeah, my that see, one. My silly lads. Is my silly lads. That. that should have been the name. Uh, no, I do not. It was like a but you have control of like um like the my, mycelial network basically, um yeah. which then so you're not directly controlling trees or plant life or like flora or fauna oh, or anything. Oh yeah, I remember. But you're gently encouraging networks in certain directions, which then help. Growth, like promote growth in certain areas and in certain ways. Um, I guess this is more that you're specifically control or have control, even if it's that, even if it's almost no control over one single thing. So I don't even know, like, what is it? Is it a collection of scenes? Like, I think a collection of seasons, Alex. A collection of seeds. Maybe, maybe it's you've got to survive for as many as you can. Or maybe it's just, it's over after. Maybe maybe a lumberjack comes along and cuts you down, apparently. And it's a, Wonderful metaphor for how fleeting life can be. Mm. If you really look into the subtext, mm-hmm. it's a harsh criticism on the Tory government. <laughs> <laughs> and then a lumberjack will you last comes and cuts for us 55 down. 55 days or will you last for longer? Did anyone vote you in? Tree? <laughs> Tree? What are you doing here, Tree? <laughs> no one wants you here. <laughs> But God, will you fight <laughs> for what I, is just wrong? I almost imagine. <laughs> I almost imagine. So my head immediately went to uh, deck building, but I discarded that. Did it now? We, we did it. We did it. We did it too. We've done it too did much. It you're, 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 so for this, this, this tree based oh, VR game, it does. you of immediately it does. went for deck building. Because yeah. I'm thinking like, me. because my thought process was, how can you? Con- you have no direct control have you over this with cards? thing. So is it? No, 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 is no, it no, basically? No, ruining. Is it basically? Um, yeah. yeah. A not a tower yeah, defense because yeah. you're not you, like or base or maybe it is maybe a super say, super mega chill. Say cards again. Tower defense. <laughs> yeah. Cards. <laughs> He's spreading his seed. My seed. Spread my seed. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, but I thought, okay, like, okay, maybe not cards, but maybe that's maybe that's too complicated. But maybe the gameplay shouldn't be that. It's maybe it should be kind of simple. What builder. if you just had? What if you just simply had like you were presented at different stages of this tree's life with a couple of choices? Maybe it's literally fork in the road choices. Whether you want to branch. Uh, yeah, literally, branching, branching was branching. right there. It was right Choices there. Yeah. I said the forks fuck? in the road. <laughs> uh, maybe Imagine this like, some kind of narrative. Like, some kind of like wooden forks, like woody forks. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The other ones sticks. where you, you eat your lunch, but all you could taste is wood. <laughs> those ones. Does that um, happen often to you? Yeah, with those horrible wooden forks that you get. Oh, it's damn like, long COVID. <laughs> Everything tastes like wood. <laughs> wood. <laughs> but like okay, it's something where you're basically, you just have to kind of decide the, the fate of the tree it, and you're just deciding like, I don't, know, I don't even know what options you have. Like, do you want to grow? Do you want to put more energy into growth or do you want to put more energy into 
building up what, your what bark. Tough, what tough Sophie's Choice things do trees have to go through in their, in their day-to-day life or generational life? Uh, Alex, you're a five-year-old tree. <laughs> Get in the mindset <laughs> of a five-year-old tree. Someone's come along uh, and he wants to build a brick wall next to you. Solve that, tree. You know what? I do. I I have a I have a solution for that. I feel like J- yeah. James James has wanted to say something for a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna, there's a cliff hanging. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna come back. Well, I, I don't want to. I might change uh, direction too much. I'm just like look in my head. No cards, nothing like that. Super chill game. Fuck and off. there's a bunch of little tree spirits, and it's just your job to make a nice little home for them. You grow over time. You have seasons, but maybe you've got to like. You can like part uh, your leaves and make a little nest for some tree Ooh. spirits, or they might um, give you hints as to what they want. Like, oh, do they need more shade? So you make a shady bit. They need sunlight, whatever. Mm. Or they are running away from some uh, wild animals. So you like swat away some like bees or some shit. I don't know, but it needs to be super chill. The way that the, I'm, that was so such a zen introduction i'm totally in that mood you're right, and you can, you're right. I'm just, you can also I'm just chilling. fling your acorns to create new trees for them to be like we want to you know there's too much too many things on this tree we need to expand and you're like Bing. and then so another tree oh. grows. can a can a friend <laughs> join you and they are a tree the trees <laughs> Just a bunch of trees hanging out <laughs> so at some point you turn away from your little thriving tree community and just look over and there's someone also in VR dressed as a tree just <laughs> waving their branches at you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That sounds delightful. All right. Does this have to be in VR? It does anything. <laughs> <laughs> Some things. I, I so, just yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. I can think of one thing. Okay, maybe it is fine. I don't know. I'm just trying to feel like what, what is it about the experience that is important to virtual reality? Are you literally uh, standing yeah, I mean, the sense of presence, Alex. Yeah, yeah, you can't you yeah. can't move too far in VR. Uh, so You're planted, you you just... are planted on the spot. It's a seated experience. Mm. Yeah, or standing, but you have to not move your feet at all because otherwise your your tree falls over. You become uprooted. There's something um, really uh, interesting. So, sorry, I, I wanted to hear Alex's wall versus oh, yeah. tree. Uh, yeah, no, I need to, strategy. Yeah. Everyone's waiting for yeah. it. Is it just fall on the wall? No, all you have to do. Oh. It's the easiest strategy. It's, it's almost no strategy. Just wait it out. Tree beats wall every time. You put a wall, if you put a wall next <laughs> to a tree, rock there's, a tree there, there's a tree in my back garden that, has been, that we left for, uh, we didn't prune for two and a half years. It That's started, Gary, the he's in the game. <laughs> have started to come out from underneath the, the brickwork in the garden. Yeah, it's fucking I insane. The They're so powerful. Yeah. Uh, the, the entire bottom half of the wall is gone. The top half is supported entirely by roots. Uh, it's it's crazy. But okay, so okay, so your choice was to wait it out. Mm-hmm. Now you're a ten year old tree. Yeah. Uh, a, a bigger tree has come along and is taking all the sun. What do you do? What's your choice? Please don't tell me that your choice is to wait it out still, because I feel <laughs> like wait it out is probably going to solve most of a tree's life problems. I don't know if wait it out would solve that problem, right? You can't, there's nothing, well, you can't fight the tree. Yeah. Well, I would say that <laughs> waiting out would actually solve that problem. Because if you look at uh, the Amazon rainforest, the canopy, if you look up, they have individual lines where trees will not, basically they grow and stop based on the surrounding trees also needing sunlight. Very, it's very interesting. But that would happen. Okay. There you go. Yeah, always have thrilling. to be a fight, Wait doesn't it? It could just, it could just be this game. Nice. You, okay. it's, like, it's, it's more of a uh, visual, like immersive movie like that. What was that one they did with the little mouse? No, the little hedgehog when Oculus oh, first came out. Oh, yeah. What was his name? Ad- I don't know. Little Billy, Billy Hedgehog. Bill the Hedgehog. I don't little know. Billy Butcher. <laughs> Harry Hedgehog. Yeah, I remember that. But yes, I, I feel like it's more like that where you're just watching this kind of stuff. Maybe is, there are some You can't just watch. It has to be a game. Well, Gen- apparently, have to be, you're, you're a fucking tree and wait it out seems to be the only solution to everything <laughs> yeah. right now. All, so, the only mechanics Alex has come up with is just sit and watch. And yeah. then all of a sudden now, like, no, it can't just be that. <laughs> this is, this is really sad. Let me guess your third thing, option is sit and watch. I'm like 
super excited about is just the idea that the tree is growing. Like, because in VR, obviously, motion sickness is a big issue and moving fast and stuff. But this idea that you're slowly over time just raising up into the sky, I don't know, there's something quite cool about that. It's That's probably the thing no cool. one else would care about, but I'm quite no, into no, yeah. it. Yeah, over time, if you suddenly realise, like if it's incremental, like s- slow enough that you suddenly realise, oh, out. hang on, look, I can... Yeah, you just wait it out. I mean, early out. on in the story, there's this huge, like... A load of characters, are, the human characters that are living in the house, they're talking about, like, I'm, sh- I'm sure something's in the gutter, but you can't see it yet until you grow up. <laughs> and then you see it. Yep. Dead bird. <laughs> the beauty that's, of nature. That's the twist at the end of the game. Okay. <laughs> What's just, in the gutter? Uh, right. I've, okay. I have, I've just come up with an idea to link it together. Okay. You are a tree. No, you fucking have Okay. You kill no, the bird. Okay, right. No, honestly. Right. Okay. So this is this is just narrative, okay? This is no this is no gameplay. This is like that Blink game. Remember the Tell game where story. all you have to do is Tell okay. me a story before you are eyes. a sapling. You so the game begins exactly how how um, Jethro describes. Yeah, I feel you like I should just sunlight. play the pitch again. But okay, right. But when this when you see the sunlight, there's also two faces. It's a happy newlywed oh. couple. They've planted you in their garden for the new house. Okay. You are right. a tree, you're an oak tree, and then your life then plays out over the next the next two generations of this family while they're having while they're going through their trials and tribulations in the kitchen or in the garden. Lots of really important things in their lives have to happen in the garden. Oh, until, no, until you get to see their bedroom, you're like, oh yeah, no. <laughs> but, but maybe maybe there is like the, like they have like they have like a five year old kid who throws a little uh, throws a little rabbit up there. And then you get to see their entire life. That five year old kid ends up like, a babe, like as in like a toy rabbit, right? Oh, so that five year old, when they're five years hell. old, they cry, they run into their parents, their parents console them. You then see the entire <laughs> life of this, of this elderly woman, <laughs> like this, this, this young kid, she grows up, has her own children, becomes a grandmother. And then you see, and then you see, you see her, her grandchildren, then. Uh, go to bury her in the garden, but by this time you're torn to see. In yeah, the garden. In the garden. That's where all the family gets. That's where all the families get buried. It's an old family. Oh, and he, go, he goes time, to clean the gutters the out and whole, finds the rabbit. No, no, the, yep, the tree is <laughs> tall enough to see the little rabbit that was there when she, that she threw up when she was five years old. Right, and no one, <clears throat> no one in two generations of this family went onto the roof. Well, Tom, how many times have you been on your roof of your house? I think if it was in my gutter or something, or I could see it, I'd be like, there's a fucking toy rabbit up there. I need to get that down. That's well, they can't unsightly. See it. That's the problem, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. What a beautiful ending to a beautiful story. potentially very what? morbid story. Well, yeah, what a wonderful end. Let's bury Nan in the garden. Yeah. It could be a happy ending, you know? They've all gone through it. They've had a lovely time. But you, you, you grew up with this family, generations that- of them. That links to the tree spirits, right? Maybe they grandma becomes a little ghost on the on a tree branch somewhere. Just, no, that's I where the fucking can... rabbit was. I'm all this <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do that, right? You can um you can ming- mingle your ashes with seeds and shit and then become a tree or some bullshit, right? <laughs> Seed and shit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> sure. That's something Sound you better. can do. I'm pretty sure that's the description on the website. <laughs> Uh, the website where you book this service. I don't fucking know. Either way, there is this thing where you can quote unquote become a tree. Maybe. maybe it's called Ashes to Ashes. You're the, they mix yeah, you, you with an ash you tree. Are, you are uh. the soul of uh, the previous generation inside an ash tree, the ash of granddad, who's called Ash, in an ash tree, <laughs> watching over the ash Pallet family. Town. Um, yeah, and you, you start in Pallet Town. You can watch Professor Oak bang your mum. <laughs> that happens in Pokemon. That's I'm pretty sweet. sure that happens. <laughs> I thought uh, it was Mr. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's got those um, hands. And yeah, so you are a tree that is infested with the, 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 the spirit of a previous generation, and you have to train your family to go out uh, into dungeons. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are the. <laughs> <laughs> you are the tree daddy the tree of wisdom perfect yeah no that's fucking great Jetro, yeah. thank you for uh giving us this as beautiful long as we're not experience 
Um, look, we, we he has another one, right? I feel like we yeah, should. Yeah, you've left a whole for like late. fifteen sorry, minutes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <Jack> Show, yeah. <laughs> He's heard it's all of this and has been. I've just heard screaming down the end of the phone. <laughs> yeah. no, that's just more of his sound to... effects. He's playing a board. He's trying to find all the new ones. <laughs> yeah, I will say thank you for all the production excellence that went into that pitch as well. I, yeah. I you've really raised the bar, and it's it's up to everyone else to catch up. The production uh, value on that is higher than this podcast. It is, yeah, it's true. Um, Alex really just shits these out. I, I, I have no defence, no defence for that. No, you garbage. Anyway, do you want to hear the the next one? There was there was another pitch at the end of this. I had to cut him off. It was it was some kind of shooter. He's been so, holding uh, his breath this whole time. He's been holding his breath. Let's go, gamers. For the second idea, think of weird tanks, but less wanky and as an FPS, except it's not first person shooter but a fourth person shooter. As in first is me, second is you, third is someone behind me, and fourth is my teammate. How this works is that the matches are two versus two, and what you see is what your teammate is aiming at, and vice versa. Moving works like tank controls usually work, but again, you cannot see your own movement, unless your teammate is watching you. I think aiming should be restricted to only horizontal movement, otherwise aiming would be way too hard, and movement in general needs to be quite slow so you have time to execute your teammates instructions. As you need to communicate with your partner, this game has to have good means to communicate. VoIP and quick chat therefore are a must. This is the base idea which can be expanded with power-ups, different game modes, different number of players or teams and other mechanics that I cannot come up with now. As for the name, I would call this FPTS, as in fourth person tank shooter. Hopefully I got some conversation going. Thank you for listening. Have a good one. Kiitos ja Hmm. Okay. Uh, right back at you. Thanks for that. Fourth person shooter. Fourth person. Yeah. Okay. So. Lay it so, on me. Give me the good shit. One of them is you. One of them is just, just the, someone, just someone behind you. You, you no, no. are the person behind the person. Your it's imagine uh-huh. your eyes were in my body and this my eyes were worst. in your body. You can literally just say you just see each other's tanks and reticules and aiming. That's literally the concept, right? No, no, no. Imagine. That your eyes okay. are in my head, and I, <laughs> right. I'm walking around fully cognizant, if that's a word, uh, and and uh, but it's your eyes, your vision, and I am looking through your head, and you're doing all your shit. So we need to stick together. We need to st- stay stay together so we, we know what we're doing. Otherwise, it'll be a nightmare. You don't have to stay together. Yeah, of course we do. No, why? Well, I, I don't I can, know where if I am. I, yeah, but I do, so I'm, that's the point, right? Is that no, it's you just don't. good communication. No, I know where you are. You, you know, know where, where I am. I am, but I don't know where my body is. No, but you're, you're in a tank. So you're I'm going, same, Tom, you are next here. To each other. <laughs> no, we're not sat next to each other. No, this is a situation in which in, this no, is a it, real life it, counterpart. Over, over <laughs> I'm downstairs in the right? kitchen making oh. a tea. Alex is upstairs having a wank. Huh? Uh, I, I can see that because right. my eyes are so, in his yeah, body. But, exactly. So you're you're on on voice comms yeah. with him, and you're like, Alex. No, no. Right hand up, right hand no, down, you're... right hand up, right hand. And he's like, No, my right hand's tight. You're like, okay, left hand, move down, grab, <laughs> right hand, left hand up. And and Alex is going, Okay, move your right hand out, grab the kettle. And you're like, Okay, right, right. That's what I got from that description. If it was about tanks, not about making tea and wanking. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Tea and tanking. Yeah. Oh dear. It's, it's pretty much that, I, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I is mean, that I what guess it is though. That's because what it I sounds more like. It was. You know, you're just a captain of a or a commander of a of a tank, and you're just giving orders, right? Is it just no? It's no, no, no. It's keep talking, and other people explode. Right. Yep. That is that's great. Yeah, that is what it is. No, it's it's like like your eyes are the other in another person's head, and he's having a wank. 
<laughs> I, I really am I really struggling to explain this beyond the pitch. Like, <laughs> I think I explained it, didn't I? You did. I don't think James is getting it. Right, James. Say we're playing. Say we're both playing a, a single player game. Right, we're both playing it together. Right, playing it separate computers. But the problem is, is I can see your screen and you can see my screen. So my controls affect what you see, and your yeah. controls affect what I see. So like we a, are a talking back and game, forth. You're watching to tell each other side. what we're looking at, what we should be aiming at, what direction to turn, and where to. I don't know, come at the end of it because that, 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 is, that I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, right? But we're all in the same tank. In no, this, no, in no, this. no, no. Separate tanks. Uh, separate tanks. <laughs> separate tanks and separate ways. Let, let's say there's no tanks. Let's well, just say it's, it's a, a tank four shooter. person shooter. It's a okay. tank shooter. It will get to that, but we really need to. Oh, just... we're peeling it back. Yeah, yeah, we'll peel right. it back until eventually he's on, on the same page. So, like, you're a, te- <laughs> you're a team of, I don't know, two. Between two and X number of tanks against another two to X number yeah. of tanks. But yeah. you're all controlling each other. Okay, okay. You can, I've you got, can I've see got each other. I've got a way to I've got a way to explain it. Yeah. James, you are playing a game. James, I am standing behind you. I'm wanking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching around. No, got it. I'm with you. You're, okay, you're playing a game. No, no. Yeah. I'm standing behind you. My hands have covered your eyes and I'm telling you what to do. No, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> so I'm, explaining, I'm explaining what I would be doing in this game. But instead of me covering your eyes, in my hands, covering your eyes is my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Jetro, what the no, fuck have you done? No, no, okay, podcast. James, James, you're playing Goldeneye, split screen. Someone said that you are the top screen. You're not, you're the bottom screen. But they've blocked it off. You can't see the bottom screen. <laughs> so you're playing the top screen but that's not actually you. Someone else is playing the bottom screen. That's not actually them. It's the other way around. What so you're fuck? just talking to each other to tell each other where to yeah. aim and shoot. Yeah. yeah. What do you Isn't, mean, yeah? It, you say that like you're on the same page the entire time. Oh, it, does, yeah, <laughs> guys, you've just... This game already exists as a first-person shoot, person shooter, though, doesn't it? Is that what's that one where you've got to look at other people's screens in order to no. screen you where they are? <clears throat> no, on that one, everyone is invisible. Uh, and you have to look at their screens to find uh, out who you are. To find out, yeah, to to yeah, the, the entire point of the game is looking at other people's screens because everyone is invisible. Um, so not quite. But the it's same. like that. Well, but no. you're in the kitchen and someone's upset. No, anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, I, no, I get it. But I'm just like, was it more interesting in my head when you're all in the same tank and you all well, just you had different me. things to do? You had well, different that's just instruments. Tank driving. And- well, yeah. yeah, but how how does it work if you're all in different tanks? That seems a bit more. Well, I I can see what you're doing. So I'm going okay, James. So there is a enemy tank forty degrees to your right, and I was like, but there's a building ten meters in front of you. I'm like, stop now, rotate, and then you know, hold hold W, hold W. Okay, stop. And you're saying things back to me, and we're both trying to react to what each other's saying, whilst also trying to tell each other what to do. So it, it requires it constant have to, communication. It will require cons- or a system where we're able to like, okay, you tell me an order, I tell you an order. But does that then uh, give you a disadvantage because you're going to be stationary for a time whilst you're doing back and forth, but you can't talk over each other? God, you could never do more than two players, could you, really, in a team? Well, you um, could, but it would be chaos, right? It would Which maybe it, would yeah. be quite funny. Unless, like, unless everyone is like linked in squads or whatever, or duos. Um, you could like, every, to... like there's 14 players that are part of the blue team, 16 even, uh, but they're split into groups Everyone of two. Everyone just suddenly and goes. Like, you, 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 link up, you link up with people. Yeah, you, yeah. You can have a buddy. Yeah, because uh, if if, yeah. if you're looking through, if if the per- <laughs> no, don't worry, don't carry it. Someone someone else talk. <laughs> I guess you guess you could actually. There's some fun you could have there if it wasn't just tanks, but you know, one mechanic could be like a power up that. If you shot another player, they jumped to someone else in their team. This is assuming if there was like, I don't know, 16 versus 16, you could suddenly then be like, shit, I've swapped tank and I need to figure out who is the tank that I'm now seeing. And then yeah. be like, oh, that would be chaos. You'll be like, okay, everyone stop, everyone rotate yeah. right. And then whoever's moves, you're like, well, no, that wouldn't work. You have to well, This is what maybe everyone, 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 everyone at the same time. Oh, no, I'm everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what made me think of that other first person game because you'd be looking at essentially like, oh, you're in the red area. Okay, I know which tank you are. Go shoot that tank over there. 
I guess, in 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 as simple as that. But yeah, I, I think I, um, yeah, like one one problem that you can have with the game is just aiming. Like it's difficult. Say you're looking at someone from the right hand side, you know they need to shoot ahead of them. You're not really looking at them, and so the aim would be hard to gauge. I think every yeah. tank should have laser sight, basically, or, or you know, laser. Have, you'd have lines uh, coming from them. Degrees, right? He said he did say only horizontal movement. So no, mm. I know, but um, I think that's what headings are for, right? You'd be like rotate forty degrees. But do you know what heading? Like well, north is always north, no matter what right. rotation you're in. Ah, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Do you think sight <laughs> the one constant? I just thought if Famously. there was like a laser sight, laser line right. coming from uh, from each tank, then you could just say like, right, yeah, you're on top of it. Rather than, okay, you look like you're about five degrees off north. Yeah, you need to be about forty five degrees back it that sounds, way. It sounds yeah. like yeah, it I think that's the whole. Bit more. That's the whole trial and error aspect of it, right? You could waste the other like, so tanks much are moving around ammo. though. Yeah, but they're doing the same thing. I guess they're right? equally shit, right? I suppose. Yeah. True. It sounds like a it sounds like a mess. You you I think I feel like you'd have to it's learn so the, noisy, um, like the oral equivalent of like circular breathing where you can talk and listen at the same time. Does that kind of have like two conversations going on? Yeah. Uh, or, you'd, or, have, you'd have to have code names or something, wouldn't you? Be like Bravo turn left and so you could Tom, know who's who. left. Tom, yeah, I, I just use my name. <laughs> it depends on how many Toms there are. <laughs> yeah, no, not Tom. many. Every, I've every Tom, uh, like 15 Toms in the, in the group. Just no, if, 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 if there's anyone else called Tom, I have a legal case against them. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Trademarked. Earlier in the show. Um, what if, let's bring it back. Instead of figuring out how to control uh, yourself, but you're looking at yourself from a completely different angle, Mm -hmm. What if the teams mm -hmm. of two, one is the navigator in the periscope or whatever it is, and the driver uh, doesn't have this vision. He's like down in the bowels of this tank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no windows and shit. Go on, Chris. What is it? One, we brought this up, I think, a couple of episodes ago. Right. But two, because I made this in a game jam. It was about submarines. And also, I think this is a game called U-Boat, but my, my submarine one was set in space, where it was um, 48 hours. And what right. you shouldn't do when you're doing a game jam is make an online multiplayer game. So what yeah, we okay. did is make an online multiplayer game. Why did you uh, do One of you has a tablet which has the radar on it and little yeah. icons and a key. And then you would say, rotate 40 degrees, uh, fire shield, and it would fire, you'd fire a shield out because mm. there'd be an incoming missile. Or you'd be like, rotate 30 or rotate to 270, fire two missiles. That's exactly it, it's, what It's like make. that, I think but we you swapped spoke about eyes. that. <laughs> the problem with games like that is that there's always going to be someone who gets the the rubbish job. You know, I don't want to be just aiming just at a nothing screen, right? I want to have something going on that's more interesting. Well, you could you could be running like there could be other little mini games where you're running repairs and stuff. Yeah, true. I get. I to be honest, the simple thing of just like you've swapped eyes is kind of like interesting to me now <laughs> can you imagine trying to just complete just basic repairs of a tank but you swapped eyes with someone you just swapped like all eyes. of this would just be a, just an absolute <laughs> fucking there's a whole it would just all be a complete fucking mess um <laughs> it would it, which i think is what he's saying right oh god imagine if this was in vr and oh, like no, everything has to be in VR. Ill, just Tom. thinking about it. Well, no, I'm, I'm just thinking about because I was just Ugh. about to say like if we got went with the periscope tank driver thing, for yeah. example, and it I was also in made VR, this in VR, by the way. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> then, but you'd swapped eyes. Like they jerk their head off to the side, and you weren't expecting it. Oh god, oh, fuck me. Oh god, that makes Let me, me feel sick just thinking about it. Nausea. This this yeah. should definitely, this should definitely be in, be in VR. If, if I was the it, other player, I would just be doing like banging my head. Yeah, <laughs> just, one of like one of the like big best practices in VR is don't move the person's head unless they have yeah, done that movement. Move, yeah, and I think that's that's worse. Like during like a maybe a cut scene or something, but someone else's head. The, like you see this a lot in um, VR footage, which is there's humans inherently can't be still. We mm. have we have tiny micro movements, but yeah, in like VR, you see that it's in trailers all the time, and it annoyed me when Sony did it for the Horizon Call of the Man trailer. It's just shaky. 
This is why we put smoothing in ours. Amateurs. I know. Starting to Australia, smooth, smooth AF. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that itself would just make you probably throw up. Mm. Because it's your micro well, movements. Y- y- you would get people not just theirs. like throwing their head around. You would get people taking off their headset and just chucking it into the air and <laughs> spitting it. <laughs> it yeah. would just be uh, like violently nauseating. But yeah. I kind of like, I kind of like the, the, uh, the insanity of that. It would just be like putting it, on a... It just, it just can't be <laughs> VR. It would be cool well, if it you was, could, but you yeah. You could do it VR. You could just be, it's not you've swapped eyes. It's like you're a camera on the tank, right? So you're like the periscope. You you have that view. You can rotate round and look around. But I feel like the swapping eyes is in, is core to to what he's to, to what Jetro is talking well, about it's the here. Same, right? It's the same thing, though, isn't it? It's in tank land. It's the same thing. You're just you're just yeah. you're the controller of the of looking around. What if around. we bring it back even further? Mm-hmm. And uh, you're a bl- you're, you're the player behind the player behind the player. You're <laughs> you are. In a tank, driving it, when you're driving it, you can't see anything. So you have to get up and go into the periscope thing to look around, then go back down to be able to fire it, then go back up again. Uh, <laughs> and there's a lot so of delay in between so all of your actions. So designed a really one-man shit tank. tank. Yeah, it's a yeah, one- very inefficient <laughs> tank. Oh, one-man tank is kind of interesting. No, that's kind of interesting though, yeah. isn't it? I mean, you, I, you're I, I to know. do all the things. I know that we are, or I at least, um, like the one thing with this pitch is fourth person and trying to make something around the fourth person of watching other people. Uh, yeah, but you're, you're, but you're not just watching other people. You're controlling your own stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you are, um, it's not but from another just, person's perspective. I think, look, either, yes, Jetro, we're, we're idiots or you've dropped the ball here. So. <laughs> I, think, I think it's, go- I'm just going to say it's going to, It'll be the former of that statement because immediately we our example we used was what if I was wanking downstairs? <laughs> no, upstairs and I'm upstairs, downstairs in the kitchen. That's what, oh, that yeah, yeah sorry. Making a tea. <laughs> what if or what if Alex was wanking in the kitchen? <laughs> what Alex, if he was wanking stop, into stop. my tea? <laughs> and you were boiling a kettle, I know, into some tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this is Jetro's fault for mentioning seeds in the first pitch. I think yeah. oh, so is that the, we can't be really held responsible. He's carefully yeah, he accidentally incepted us. seeds into us. <laughs> well, fucking hell! What? <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the players runs over a tree, and then you realise it's the tree from the first game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look. Just wait out. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I d- I don't know where we can go with a fourth person. Shooter where everyone has swapped eyes, uh, but it's maybe in VR. Yeah, no, we, no okay. What, before the VR what, thing, I think we got. All right, Chris, what is this game? Yeah, you so, do here, right? <laughs> so I can see. I'm going to use me and James as the example, just so we we're all on the same uh-huh. screen. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing with my keyboard and mouse. I have horizontal movement with my mouse, and I have directional movement with WASD my tank sure James is playing with his keyboard but and mouse James, and mouse yes if James <laughs> presses W on his keyboard I see his tank move on my screen yeah no we get the concept yeah this is this is literally the whole point of this section of the podcast where I explain the concept <laughs> <laughs> do it with some gusto <laughs> Well, well, it sounds like no one fucking gets it, so I'm no. just I'm, I'm explaining it in a way we, that's No, but we clear. get the concept of seeing your own actions on another person's screen and seeing someone else's actions on your screen. Okay, it's What's a 2v2, de- a 2v2 death match. You're in yeah. a small village in France in World War II, right? Great. <laughs> you're trying to navigate the areas, you're trying to destroy the other two tanks yeah. who are yeah, also yeah, yeah. seeing each other's screens. It's mm-hmm. all about communication. James, you need to turn this much. You need to shoot here. And whilst he's also saying that to me, so it's all about figuring out a way to communicate with each other, which doesn't get confusing. You're, and and you've one of you eyes because you're the product of Nazi experiments. Yeah, I was going to say MK wow, Ultra. It's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Um, That's what right. this game can be Brilliant. called. I love MK it. Old tank. <laughs> old tank. <laughs> old tank. <laughs> old tank. All right, MK Old tank. And um, what was the first one? Thomas the Tree. Thomas it's growing uh, up. He, multiplayer he, he growing, chaos. Growing up is actually a really nice name. Well, yeah, multiplayer chaos, spelt with a K. Old tank. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what MK Ult tank is. Um, what was the first one? Do you, can can anyone the, underline uh, that? Trees, the, the well, trees so have I'll eyes. I'll explain it so it doesn't do it in monotonous detail like I tried. Oh no, I'll just do it with a monotonous <laughs> voice instead. Um, so uh, the trees have eyes is a uh, game where you uh, are the spirit of Ash. Ash, first name and last name, <laughs> in yeah. in the sapling of an ash tree, watching over the Ash family who live at 100 Ash Road. Uh, the Ash Village. Ash Town. <laughs> ash Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. I don't know what just happened. I, I, think, I think you dribbled when he said that. Okay. Anyway, you, you, uh, yeah. you open your eyes, uh, the mud parts, and there's a, a, a couple looking at you. Wow, can't wait to see where granddad goes, says one of them. The other one says, I love you so much, husband. There's a lot of like poorly ham-fisted context shoved into the <laughs> Real game. Real bad exposition. Yeah. yeah, like, I love you so much, my husband, Rick. I love you too, Emily, my wife. Where's they should all be daughter? named after trees. Where's our daughter, Sebastian? <laughs> <laughs> that famous tree. Uh. And, uh, and, and as you slowly rise up... Where's our uh, dog, Buck? <laughs> <laughs> and as you slowly uh. grow up, your vision uh, expands and expands and expands as you watch the family go through their life, their troubles, their tribulations, their their victories and successes. Oh, they got new decking in level four. Um, and I, I knew that decking before he was decking. <laughs> he was a good friend of mine. <laughs> um, and and eventually the game ends with everything. Burning down, Dead. and there's a lost rabbit in the gutter, and there's a ro- there's lost a rabbit that slowly turns to ash. Oh, to ash. That's you, what ashes to ashes. When you things. Ashes to ashes. The trees have eyes. Na- Nan's buried in the garden. <laughs> oh yeah, Nan gets buried in the garden too. <laughs> Why are they burying her there and not in a graveyard? What well, happened she, to Grandma? She was there because her she wanted life. to be buried by the tree. That's what she wanted, yeah. It's it was her best friend. Times, yeah. Before uh, graveyards. Yeah. Ashes to ashes, <laughs> trees have eyes, or um, M tank ultra wanks him. K ultra tank. tank. Ultra tank. Ultra tanky tanks. If you, <laughs> if you have wanky better tanky. ideas for either of these, uh, oh, for either of these tanky games. Tanky. Oh, that got me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, have a little hanky tanky. <laughs> Please let us know what you think uh, of Jetro's ideas and then. Also, what we've just done to them. Um, yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. They can let us I, I know. I know you won't think so highly of that part, but <laughs> where, where can they? Where can they <clears throat> let us know these things, Tom? You can uh, you can let us know on Twitter at which is pitch please pod without any vowels, or you can send us an email pitch please pod at yogscast dot com with all the vowels. Oh, you um, can do that. Jetro uh, sent his uh, sent his pitch through to the email and uh, and included. Just a ton of beautiful scenery and sound effects and everything, and really raised the bar. So, Gold star. if you think you can beat that pitch uh, in immersion, the experience, then uh, then then give it a go. Maybe oh, I can't wait until someone hands in like an entire movie. <laughs> They've just made the game. Just a game. Just, a game. just give us just a game. Yeah, yeah. send us a game. <laughs> I'll, I'll happily spend an entire podcast playing a game that no one can <laughs> see because the of the format. The- yeah. <laughs> Wow. Honestly, it's it's like fun. we we have we have genuinely really enjoyed receiving these things from you. Uh, even yeah. just like as tweets, uh, emails, voice, whatever you want to do, just getting new ideas. Raven in is uh, Raven, yeah, pigeon, shark, um, pissing snow. That's a weird one. Yeah, um, <laughs> piss in the snow. <laughs> yeah, however you want to deliver them, please do. Please continue to do so. Thank you, Jetro. Thank you, everyone who's actually contributed so far. We really appreciate it because um, I didn't really appreciate the the time someone butchered a, a person and left them on my bed uh, yeah that was a bit and much used their blood to spell out a pitch across yeah. the entire back wall of my bedroom the thing is it was but a good idea the game was as well great. but it was a yeah. great idea 
We just but couldn't. We couldn't. Couldn't obviously can't daddy. use the picture because <laughs> dungeon daddy. someone's died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we said Tom, and that's yeah. trademark. So you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> use my name, and that's yeah. So yeah, please feel free to contact us, send us your ideas in any way you He's see fit large. that doesn't <laughs> doesn't involve murder. Um, <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> and, uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, we'll we'll see you next time. Until then, what's in the box? Goodbye. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. Bye. 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 Do you want to come and uh, wank me off while I make you a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how that was working, but you just sort of you just, just gave me an idea. Though,